what's going on world it's your boy sensei ripping i'm back again with another video uh before we get into it man shout out to y'all man my subscribers we almost at 70k y'all so make sure y'all like share subscribe you know what i mean drop a comment below let the world know you rocking with fkz tv um and yeah man we're gonna continue to push for 100k but you know coming up to 70k so let's make sure y'all hit that subscribe button if you haven't already I know some of you guys like, damn, Rip, where you been, man? I ain't seen you in a little while. Listen, man, Rip has been behind the scenes taking care of business for the channel. But just know I ain't going nowhere. I'm still here, man. I ain't going nowhere. Um, just been working on a lot of things, man. But best believe, man, I got to I gotta send a salute and shout out to y'all, man, because y'all been continuing to support my channel, the platform. And um, just know, man, y'all are not forgotten at all. Every day I wake up, hey, man, I got blessed the people. Got to feed the streets. So, shout out to my loyal subscribers. Shout out to the network um, content creators that get up every day, do what they got to do. And, um, yeah, man, we just going to continue to push, man. Continue to push forward. I know we have these highs in our life and these lows. But regardless, show you got to continue to put your foot forward. Um, continue to live life to the best of your ability. Um, like I said, every day, man, I'm constantly trying to grow and evolve as a man. And, um... I'm not going to let you guys know, man. I promise we're going to continue to build this platform. And I got something special for y'all today. All right? Last night, I went to a show, stand-up show, uh, to go see Comedian Godfrey. Uh, for those who don't know, uh, you know, Godfrey was on Soul Plane, the movie. Uh, recently, he was on Day Ready, season two. Day Ready. Shout out to uh, Tiffany Haddish. Um, you know, Godfrey was able to be one of the talented comedians on that Netflix show. And uh, he held it down, man. Godfrey is... Um, He's definitely one of one. You're not going to find too many comics like this brother who can uh, sit on stage for hours, man, and continue to get them laughs going, man. You know here in Baltimore, we, we uh, you know how I said Baltimore, you know here in Baltimore, man, we real stubborn. We want to laugh, but we want to be cool. <laughs> All right, nigga. That's just how we got this reputation in Baltimore, man. Like when comedians come in, they like, yo, y'all be stubborn with the laughs, but we going to get them. And uh, luckily, Godfrey, you know, he doesn't go through those problems, man. When he get up on that stage, it's like freestyle comedy. And bro is good, man. I've, I've, I've been watching uh, Godfrey stand up for over 10 years, man. Just seeing him grow, becoming a better, just, you know, bettering his craft, mastering his craft. I mean, you know, that's, that's one of the best, hands down. So, went to the show. Dope, dope show, man. He tore the stage up, man, for real. Um... But I was able to talk to Godfrey, y'all. Uh, I pulled up on Brother Godfrey. We rapped, you know what I mean? Let him know, hey, brother, I'm Sensei Riff from Forgotten Kings TV. I've posted a couple of your videos on my channel. And, uh, you know, I was hoping to set up an interview. You know, I reached out to a lot of people on Instagram. Sometimes it works, sometimes it don't. You know, I don't really get upset. You know, it, it never hurts to try. And, of course, um, I had reached out to Godfrey on Instagram, didn't get a, get a response. Um, he was like, you know what, brother? You got your stuff now? Let's do the interview now. Let's go. I'm like, right now? He's like, right now. I'm like, well, let's go. So, you know, I grab my, my phones. Me and, and uh, Brother Godfrey, we in the back. We chilling, man. You know what I mean? We just caught him fresh off the stage. So, please, when you watch this interview, okay, be mindful. This man just did a two-hour set on a Thursday night, man. Bro, hungry, all right? He got to fuel up. So, luckily, I was able to go backstage with bro and get a one-on-one -on -one interview with him, man. So, Excuse my man busting down the fool, if you will, please. I know y'all going to say some shit anyway. It really don't matter. I just want to let y'all know we got an interview with Godfrey, all right? So, with that man said, make sure y'all like, share, subscribe. Please, reshare this video, man. Get it out there. You know what I mean? Put it on all the platforms, all right? Let's 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 get it out there. Let's get it going. But Godfrey is just going to be one of many guests on Forgotten Kings TV. Um, let this be a lesson, you know what I mean, to know that Things will eventually, you know, fall in your favor. You know, a year ago, I was going to my first ever stand-up show, and Godfrey was the comic. Fast forward a year later, I'm interviewing Godfrey. Backstage. Come on, man. Life don't get no better than that. If that don't show you God really real and he listen, then I don't know what to tell you. But I don't want to get all spiritual and all that. You know what I'm saying? Make sure y'all like, share, subscribe. Like I said, man, I hope y'all enjoy this interview. Um, and shout out to Brother Godfrey for even allowing me to be in his presence. You know what I mean? He gave me so much game just chilling with him. We was hanging for a couple hours, man. I wish I could have hung a little long, but I was like, let my man, you know what I mean, duck off, enjoy the rest of this night in peace. Because, you know, 
I'm a person that like my space. All right, we cool, we hang, hang, but I, I gotta go. <laughs> Peace. But yeah, man, I hope y'all like this interview and stay tuned, man. We got more on the way. All right, so like I said, with that being said, y'all tell me what y'all think about this interview. All right, my name is Sensei Rip. I'll catch y'all at the next one. All right, ladies Peace. and gentlemen. It's your boy Sensei Rip, and I'm here with the legendary Godfrey, man. How you doing this evening, brother? I'm good, man. Just got off stage at the Magoobie's Joke House in Timonium. <laughs> Timon, how you like that, huh? Hey, man, uh, it's Timonium. <laughs> Timonium sound like a, 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 a table of elements. You know, like radium, carbon, <laughs> Timonium. You know what I'm saying? It's not like a table of elements, a new element. Yeah, yeah it's a but little... Yeah, got off stage. It was good, man. I had I did like two hours, but it's Thursday, man. Yo, how, how, as a comedian, one. how do you develop your stamina out there on the stage, man? How, uh, does that, how does that happen for certain comics, man? From doing it for years and years and years and years, man. That's where you build your stamina. A lot of stage time. That's how you build it. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I you, Go ahead. No, I only ask that question because, you know, I've seen a couple, you know, shows, and I've seen certain comics, you know, they might do, uh, you know, five minutes, say, you know, the openers, they'll do five minutes, mm -hmm. ten minutes, and then, you know, the headliners, they may do an hour, but you, two hours, I mean, do you practice that, man? Mm -hmm. Well, because I, um, in New York City, I moved from Chicago to New York, mm -hmm. we have so much stage time, you know, and so you build your jokes out. So when you're on stage, I was doing 30 or 40 shows a week. Mm. Stage time, 10 minutes here, 15 minutes there, 20 minutes there, half hour there. there. You know what I'm saying? Right. And plus going on the road, you just build such a repertoire of jokes. And you know, and you just, and you damn near have a joke about anything. I always say you should have a joke about any goddamn thing. I don't give a fuck if it's a tree. <laughs> hey, yo, you got this one joke I remember you did last year where you talk about the kids oh, yeah. in the playgrounds Hell and how, yeah. they, how they different. You was like, back then we had little hands and hope. That's that's Little hands and hope, son. <laughs> and you wasn't lying when you say that shit, too. It wasn't even like the most safest, durable playground Hell set. It was no, man. It's like a metal. <laughs> They built playgrounds to kill us, bro. Hey, yo, we had the best fun, too. Oh, um, no funny shit, right? That's <laughs> what I'm saying, man. You're very dangerous when you're on that stage, brother. Um, I appreciate it. And I, and I remember growing up, of course, you know, my introduction to you was Soul Plane, right? right on. I'm pretty sure a lot of people tell you that. And I love that, because that's a funny movie. Classic. It, it really classic. is. It's a Cold classic. classic. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Go <laughs> on my nose, everybody. <laughs> so Have some pepper in my shit. <laughs> Goddamn. No, but um, yeah, man, Soul Plane. Oh, I had so much fun on that damn set. Oh, Snoop Dogg was dope. Snoop Dogg still cool. I just did his new show recently. Okay. It's, okay. it's gonna be like a video show, a dumb criminal show. So it's a bunch of comedians and we just making fun of videos. Me, Atheon, Croc, and all of us. So yeah, man, that Snoop. That I, I think they should do Soul Plane too. Fuck. I was gonna ask. Do you get that asked a lot, man? Money. I've been we're trying to get Kevin to do this shit. I'm like, I'm like, I don't know why you avoid the soul plane. You need to do that shit again. Yeah, I mean people like, you know, everywhere you go now, man. You know they play it all day on B E T. Every day it? on B E T. Bounce network, all they, they got they play it like Martin. <laughs> right after Martin, Soul Plane. <laughs> so, I mean, it's it's funny because when, when I bring up your name, Godfrey, a lot of folks, you know, they're like, where, where's he from? And I hate to have to go back to Soul Plane. But you remember the guy from Soul Plane. So, hey, man, whatever it takes to get people to remember, I don't give a damn. Mm -hmm. I don't, if it's BT Comic View 7 Up, I don't care. <laughs> as long as you're in people's minds, who cares? It's when you're not in people's minds, that's when mm. you should be worried. So thank God for reruns. Thank God, because I did a lot of VH1 stuff. I did all that. But now we got uh, podcasting now. You know, like what you're doing. You got shows like this on YouTube. We can, mm -hmm. You can stay relevant. As long as you're putting up content, you can be your own TV show. You know, Instagram really put me on the map the past three, four years. You know, doing videos with King Batch and Rennie and these to all that whole crew. You know, just constantly. And now I'm in that loop. Being on Wild and Out, the last this season, seventeen of sixteen, I'm about to do seventeen with Lick Cannon and just staying and staying relevant. You know, there's so many different ways to stay relevant now. To stay, you know, whether it's your phone, whether it's Facebook, whether it's TikTok. You know, it's a beautiful thing. Thank God, because <laughs> right, keeps right, a lot right. of us, you know, older heads, busy, relevant. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I'm glad you brought that up because you know. Me being a 90s baby, man, yeah. you know, television and film 
and what was being displayed is much different than today. Um, right. It seems as if it's not that many opportunities for some of our legendary comics, and it bothers me when, you know, you watch some of these films and you might have an earthquake or Bruce Bruce, you know, legends. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, it's like, thank God for 85 South and what they got going on because they kind of help, you know, bring the attention and, and awareness mm -hmm. to some of these legendary comics, man. You mm -hmm. know, some more... Like I said, I mean, it's so many. You're from that era. Right, you know what man. I mean? Hey, man. Hey, listen. I caught, my man, I caught my man after a hot set. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Two hours. Mm -hmm. Y'all couldn't even last five minutes on the gram. Okay? Look at that night food they eating. Eating good one. <laughs> good food. The motherfucker look at good food. Mother bitch. But seriously, though, do you do you think that um, there's been a decline as far as opportunities uh, when it comes to media and TV and film, man? I don't really. I think it's kind of still the same. For real? Yeah. You know, with the opportunities as far as for African Americans. Yeah, just for our people and our culture. Yeah. I think they. I think they get slick, man. They keep it sort of the same. Like they they'll make it look like it's things are improving, but it's still the same. We still have the same complaints. Hmm. You know, it's like the same song, but they remix that motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. That's a racism. They Acoustics. This is what they do with racism. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's the same beat. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Different yeah. beat, different, same melody. You know, it's just, I think it's, we have, a, I think now is a, t a better time for opportunity because mm -hmm. you can kind of make your own way. A lot of Instagram people have done that. A lot of Facebook people have done that. Made their own way. Made your own money too. You can. It, so it's. I think it's better as far as opportunity. As far as the um, my, as far as my, tomorrow. <laughs> people are leaving. Sorry, guys. But as far as the opportunities, I think it's more. The racism hasn't changed, but the opportunity to create your own shit has increased. I believe that. And you know, and and once no, once you get numbers, motherfuckers will give you opportunity because they trying to make money. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So if you can take advantage of the IGs or the Facebooks or the TikToks and be consistent, you have. I think you have at least you're giving yourself a, a better chance. Bye. Bye. I'm buying. I'm buying all day. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Okay. Nah, that's 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 a good answer, man. I only ask that because you know with technology, yeah. you know, taking over the industry, everything is more uh tech savvy now and yeah. it affects everything. Yes. Um and even the value of a comedian. I have to ask you the question because now you're being lumped into social media influencer comedians and you know, yeah. you're the actual professional. I have to ask you, you know, what are your thoughts when uh you see the merge of social media influencers and comedians, man? Um I don't mind it. It's just there's some people on social media that will call themselves comedians because they're doing sketches, but you can say comedic actor, but you're not a comedian, though. Mm -hmm. No, in no way, shape, or form. I mean, if you haven't put your time on stage, because a lot of and there's some um, Instagram people that are actually trying to take comedy serious. They're getting better. They're getting yeah. better. Well, mm -hmm. Yeah, you're gonna get better if you keep doing it. Mm -hmm. But they got a long way to. It's it's a long ride, man. It takes a long time, and who knows how long this whole Instagram shit's gonna last? We don't know how long. So when it let's say it doesn't last anymore, are you still gonna be doing stand up? Are you still gonna be able to do stand up and still come do the art form? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because it's a long stretch. Comedy takes a long time, boy. And I'm like still learning shit as I'm doing my thing. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. 20 plus years. So I don't mind it. I just don't like when the some of the Instagram people call themselves comedians. I'm like, oh, you've never been on stage, bro. You don't, you're not a comedian. Mm. You're, a, you're, you're a social influencer. You're funny on the thing. Don't get me wrong. I don't right. see motherfuckers be having me dying on there. But the stand-up game? Oh, man. Come on. So, so do you suggest them to start stand up early? Yeah, is that something that has to be in a bag, even if you're on social media? If they're if they're considering themselves a comedian, a mm -hmm. stand up comedy, yeah. First of all, do you got to get on stage a lot, bro? You have to, man. I don't know because if you don't put your reps in, it's going to catch up to you. Mm. I'm telling you, you've been to shows where you've been like, oh, this nigga wearing out in 30, 20 minutes. <laughs> And he's supposed to do an hour. Mm. You know, you'll you'll know the ones that are that got the that got the arsenal. 
You know what I'm saying? You ever got caught lacking on a night, man? Wasn't your best? Wasn't on your A game? Yeah, every once in a while. You won't know it, though. Mm. I'm not letting you know that shit. I got a show to do. <laughs> I have fake energy like I'm about to... All right. <laughs> That's why I said, you know, the journey, man, 2021, and to see you've been here for over two decades. I mean, yeah. who, who are some of the elders and OGs that kind of help you, you know, along the way? Uh, you know? Well, I, I was around Bernie Mac, you know, in Chicago. Um, I was around, I saw I saw DL, I saw Mark Curry, I saw Sinbad, I saw, shout out, rest in peace, Ricky Harris. I saw mm -hmm. a lot of great comedians coming into Chicago. You know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, another brother named George Wilborn, who's dope. Who's uh, <laughs> What? George Wilborn's my big brother. Had, uh, another brother named Evan Lionel from Los Angeles, but he's from Chicago, too. Evan Lionel. Um, so a lot of dudes, like, and women, Adele Givens, that, uh, who's my homie from Chicago, a lot of them I watched and they show me a little love here and there, you know? Mm -hmm. And then you're watching Richard Pryor, the greats. Like, let's point to that, point to that, point to that poster right there. Point to that poster. Mm. God damn, you hurt my foot, Jack. <laughs> shit, that shit hurt like a motherfucker. Shit, God damn, you don't see a nigga in the street? <laughs> How did, how, did, how did you learn that, man? Because you know you're, you're in a, a special class when it comes to impressions, man. I only hold you in maybe Ari Spears, you yeah, know what I mean, I, in high regard when it comes to impressions, man. It's, you're real it's, good. It's, 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 I was born like that, kind of. I always, it's like people who can sing. You know, you get people who have voices and they're little. You know, they're singing in the church and shit. Yeah. It's just, I just could just do it. You know? Right. You hear something, you do it. Someone goes, blah, blah, blah. You go, blah, blah, blah. You're like, oh, shit. You know, we would imitate my dad, you know, and uh, Ali. I could do my Ali. I'm fast. I'm pretty. I shook up the world. I told you Joe Frazier's too ugly. He's too ugly, to champ. Everybody in here, too ugly. Joe Frazier thought he was the, was the best. But Joe Frazier don't know. He beat me one time, but he's too ugly. You see, he barely, barely mocked my face. My face, my face is beautiful. My face is pretty. I would imitate my heroes, you know? And that was just a natural thing. I just had an ear for it. You know what I'm saying? Uh. It was just an ear for it. I just could do it. You know, it wasn't, I, I didn't think about it. You know, I just go, oh. Blah, blah, blah. Listen, you did that IG uh, with, with, who was it? Um, Tommy Davidson. Oh, that was funny I think shit. I thought Putty Cat, the boy. Like, you know, that just being fun. able to, you know, just work on the whim, right on the spot, you know, mm -hmm. do it, command, mm -hmm. and then you hit it. Right? I'm like, yo. That's not easy. No, no, it's not. <laughs> at all. Like right. for you to do it like that, like come on, man. You know, you just you, you like to see people when they, you know, doing great things, man. And when you're yeah. on that stage and like, brother, you know, you held it down. I appreciate it, man. I, you know, I, my whole thing is, uh, you always want to put on a good show, and you you hope that people will enjoy what you do and appreciate the art form, mm -hmm. and and. And the message that you hope you hope you get people that are smart enough to go. Oh, I see what he's saying. Oh, I see what he's saying. It's not here. I'm not here to like harm people. Like yeah, yeah. some people take it like they're you're harming them. I'm like, oh, it's an art form. It's like the the world is fucked up at some point. Mm -hmm. It's fucked up. Stop acting like it ain't. Like comedy's yeah. gonna take you away from that. No, we talking about the same shit you suffering from. I'm gonna tell you about my uh, being a black man in America. Yeah. Can I talk about that? Damn. Mm. Like, this is my life that I see. You're not around me like that. So when I bring it on stage and I'm able to make you laugh about it, that's what you need to appreciate. Yeah. Like, wow, he's taking all the shit he's going through and he's conveying it to us and making me laugh. But if you're going to get mad at what I'm saying and my truth, then you're being a narcissist. Now it's all about you. And a it should be show. all about us. It should be about us. Like, right, oh, right, As right. a whole, like, bam, we come here to talk about the ills or even if it ain't the ills. But we, it's an art form that you have to respect. You disrespect it when you're like, I don't want to hear this. Like, what do you mean? At a comedy show. At a fucking comedy you show. come here to laugh. Why are y'all joking about that? It's a goddamn joke house. It's called a joke house. Thing. Damn. You know, you know people are really mm. ridiculous like that. People are very ironic like that, man. When, very ironic. When moments happen like that, I often think, man, what would Patrice do right now? Patrice O'Neill. Can you imagine Patrice O'Neill? He'd be like, this. 
Eat this nigga. <laughs> You're wearing your mask, nigga. You're wearing your mask. You still <laughs> caught the COVID, nigga. Ah, you know what I hate? I can't stand you, stupid. I hate you. You got the coat. You caught. You took the shot. And you still got the goddamn COVID. <laughs> you got the COVID. Oh, Shut up, man. dummy. You know. Elephant in the room, man. One of my all-time oh, favorites. Dope. Oh, man. man. Oh, yo. Mm -hmm. and, you, and you see it start to come to life. Like, you seen the, yeah. the, the, the young lady that went missing? <laughs> he talking and about... And it just happened. <laughs> so he's he... like, what's, what's, what's her name? Vandersloot. <laughs> Look, y'all know her name. <laughs> Vandersloot. What's her name? Who was the little Indian lady that got kidnapped the other night? They exactly. Were like, um, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> It's like as soon as they, you know, whenever there's a search team for a white woman, they go out there searching for days. Hey, yo. If it's someone black, they go to the edge of the fucking <laughs> beach. Uh. And he wasn't lying when he said the NFL dudes went missing. That shit lasted for like four hours. <laughs> Respectfully, yo. I don't see a football coming up to the surface. <laughs> he said, I'm going to just put a little white baby in oh, Ice Cosby, with a, guys. With a, with, a, with a fucking Ugg boot. <laughs> On a keychain. Hey, yo, they don't make them like that for Oh, man. Oh, look, look my man. He busting it down right now. Yo. Damn, yeah, he don't play, man. He a machine for real. Damn, Curry. Well, I, I, you know, I appreciate you for doing this, brother. Um, the Lord yeah. works in mysterious ways. I don't yeah. want to hold you up too much, man. I know you, you're a oh, busy I man. You with the other guy. No, nah, no, nah, I come solo today, man. Mm -hmm. You know, I seen the first time. I said, you know, go, oh, Godfrey back. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm in there. I'm wow. in there. It's not even a thought. I came on a Thursday, of course. I ain't really want that smoke, so <laughs> got things to do tomorrow. Mm -hmm. But um, like I said, man, you know, you, you just been in high demand, brother. You know, seeing you on day ready. Oh yeah, man. Cooking up. You got wilding out. I mean, what is the future? You know, for Godfrey, man. What do you see yourself? Shout out to Tiffany Haddish. Made that happen. First mm. off, Queen Tiffany. Um. Shout out to King Nick Cannon. <laughs> right. That boy just looked out big time. That dude is a, an entity. He's an amazing person, Nick Cannon. Real shit. Mm. Um, yeah, my thing is just I'm, I'm, I like how I've re reinvented myself pretty much. Like just staying in people's space and different demographics. Young motherfuckers fuck with me. Middle-aged motherfuckers. Old motherfuckers fuck with me. Because I'm, 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 I'm going in all different platforms. Wow, now. IG, boo, boo. you know what I'm saying? I'm glad. Yeah. I'm glad I did it. I'm glad four years ago I stepped up and said, "Let me take get my old ass off my fucking ass and get on this." <laughs> this is the wave. This is the way the way of the world, man. Mm -hmm. And it's working because I got the chops. I ain't worried about that. I just got to know how to market it, put it in people's faces. You just got to know how to jump on that, you know, that popularity train. How do I make this popular? How popular? How how do I get eyes on this? You gotta find ways, meet people that show you that way too. Mm -hmm. So that's what I've been doing. I, I I keep my ear to the streets with the with the with the IG people. Like, what? Okay, what what what's this? What's that? So how do I uh, get people to do that? And I got a lot of people go, Yo, you need to make sure you put your name on that, but um, watermark that, da da da, send it, you know. Right, right, so, right. Yeah, man. So my future is to just keep doing what I'm doing, but have my own show. You know, I'm working on that. Having my own show. Like a Netflix show, it's being in a series. I feel it coming. I feel it like a motherfucker. I'm just Real. like, so yeah, because it's something's got to give. Something has to give. Yeah. Something yeah. has to give. You know, and That's I, true. you know, I see some of the same people getting shit all the time, which is fine. Right. But right, I want right. to be that same motherfucker getting well, shit. It's gonna happen. You know, because the streets are telling me, yo, Nick, hey, yo, dude, yo, you can you can see it, yo, bruh. You know what I mean? And that kind of energy uh, 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 fuels me, man. It's like, yo, hell yeah. I got the streets back me like a motherfucker. They be like, Nick, oh, hell yeah. We fuck with you. And I'm like, now I hope, I, I want to be able to, now fuck that hope. I'm going to do it on a Netflix show um, or I'm going to do it on a, a series. I'm going to do it with, with, with specials, our specials. You know, because that's what people are waiting on. Where's your I mean, hour? who knows? It might be one of these new apps. You know, they might come at, come at you with one of them Amazon deals or no something. Doubt. You know it's what I mean? Gonna, it's gonna, it has to happen. The, the, the universe is conspiring to do that for me. Period. Period, period, point blank. You know what I mean? That's right. And then, so I'm on that type of shit. Not staying in my own lane, not worrying about what other motherfuckers is doing. Just doing my thing. 
connecting with people that fuck with me and I fuck with them sharing and just you know what I'm saying yeah you know sharing and letting everybody eat you know that's what I'm about shit hey, yeah man, I appreciate it you know before we go yeah you know do you still got love for this being a comedian hell yeah what to be able to talk shit and go home <laughs> who the fuck <laughs> Most people want to talk shit at work and they can't. <laughs> right. I get to talk shit. That's my job. Man. It's beautiful. I never get tired. You know I don't get tired of it because I'm always doing new shit. I'm always very conversational. I don't I'm not robot like. Uh, uh, uh. I'm always it's like a new conversation for me every time I get on stage. Even in May, you might hear some of the same jokes, but they go, oh, he didn't even say it the same way. Cause I don't feel the same way. No conversation is exactly the same. Mm. No audience is exactly the same. Yeah. Energies are different, personalities are different, mentality is different. You don't know what you got. Racial makeup is different. It's it's great. That's why the challenge is always there. You don't know what the fuck you go get when you get on stage. You don't know. You don't know. But that's the great thing about it. Is that is that mystery. If I knew, they would you know, I'd be bored to death. If I knew every time, oh I know. I know exactly what. No. I know the one thing I want to be consistent in is be funny. Fuck that. I, I, want, I don't want that to change. Right, right, right. Yeah, that's the only thing that ain't going to change up. Fuck that. You know what I mean? Hey, man. So, I appreciate yeah. you for doing this, brother. No Godfrey, doubt. Man. No doubt. It's, uh, uh, I'm sorry. It's uh, Sensei Rip. Sensei Rip. Sensei Rip. Yeah, for Forgotten Kings TV, man. Yo, Forgotten Kings TV. This is Godfrey on Forgotten Kings TV with Sensei Rip. I like this rawness. We just did it just like that. I said, hey, man. He said, can I interview you? Let's do this shit right now. I was grubbing, grubbing right in front of y'all, motherfucker. And I know in the comments, like, man, you just eating. Yeah, motherfucker, I am. I said I was. So I'm beating all you to the fucking punch right now. He just eating. He got shit on his mouth. Yup, I sure do. He don't know how to eat with his mouth. Like, yup. So, yo, peace and go. love. You know what I'm saying? And we got to just, you know, it's all about black progress and actually, like, if we can help each other out in our own ways as an artistic family, we should be able to do that because other races do it for themselves. And we need to be able to do that. Even if it's something like this, like guys like yourself that are trying to build their own shit. Mm -hmm. I'm trying, I'm doing this. I'm a journalist. I'm a, you know, it's nice when you can do a little something for somebody, you know, on some real shit. And if it adds value to your thing, that makes it even more better. Even more, more better. Ugh. It makes it even better. <laughs> I said more better. It makes it even more gooder. <laughs> It's like motherfuckers say worse. Uh, yo, it's it's worse and worse. I mean, and and worse is really bad. <laughs> but nah, brother yeah. Godfrey, I appreciate you for coming on the platform, man. Tonight's show was, uh, you know what I mean? Epic, to say the least, man. Thank on a you. Thursday. Y'all make sure to pull up at Magoobies. Y'all head to it. So sure. Saturday, well, right? Well, I'm here till Saturday. Two shows, uh, Friday, two shows, Saturday, 7 and 9.30. Let's do this, man. Come on. Baltimore. Baltimore. <laughs> you need to take care of your dub. Because... <laughs> You go over get that chicken box, Baltimore. Come on, hey, get that yeah. chicken box from that Korean lady that be going, You motherfucker, fuck that shit. I don't give a fuck. You want wing? You want wing? We call her Ma. Ma, right? Hey, what's up, Ma? Let me get the. Let me get the. Uh... The chicken box. Where is that area again? The Park Heights. Park. They took me over there. I was like, Where is this chicken box? You need to get you a chicken box. Oh man, that hip hop was good as hell. Too. Was you was you riding dirt bike drivers? The riders yeah, out the, there doing the, whalies and 12, shit. Twelve o'clock boys. There you there you go. There yeah, you go. I know the 12 yeah, boys. You plugged in a little bit. I know. The 12, I saw that documentary, man. I know the twelve o'clock boys like this, boy. That know this shit though. No. I know that shit, man. Fuck that shit, man. Hey man, hey feel me? I know that shit, I know. Yeah, twelve o'clock boy all day. Shit, you ain't tell me, man. Man, I ain't no, I ain't no fuck nigga about that. I know I don't fuck this boy. That bullshit though, but I know you. You, man? Hey, you need to come out there and ride with up, boy. I'll tell you, let's ride with up. I'll get tight. Come on, boy. Hey, yo. <laughs> All right, man. Let me get him up out. I'm still tripping off. Of smell it. Hey, you said that's a smell it. <laughs> yo. Yo. But I right, oh, bang. That's where you. Yeah, like, man. <laughs> About to say, man. I, I gotta, I gotta go. I gotta let this man go. I can't yes, hold sir. him in here. I feel like I'm holding him hostage. Like I owe him some money. He ain't like going nowhere until he get this interview. Goddamn, he ain't going. Like an illegal alien, man. <laughs> like, oh, please go. go but yeah, make sure y'all tap into the Instagram. Uh, you know, got the the YouTube channel as well. Um, you know, like I said, man, just Google him at this point, man. Just yeah. Google Godfrey. He known mm -hmm. like that now. Uh -huh. You done came a long way from the Comedy Central days, my brother. You, oh, you done man. bossed up, man. We still here, man. 
You know what I mean? I don't. <laughs> Which the? All right, I'm out, man. I'm, I'm out. Doing down. <laughs>